Welcome everyone to today's Tri Valley League game between your Dover Tripping Raiders and the Ashland Clockers. I'm Sebastian Asar, joined alongside Brad Crandall, bringing you live coverage here on YouTube. Yes, welcome to the game. It's a beautiful afternoon right now. Very beautiful. Yeah, it's like um, close to 70 degrees, mm -hmm. I would say, in the sun. And just a great day for lacrosse. We'll see how it goes today. So I was speaking to someone from Ashland before the game. They said, mm -hmm. uh, watch out for number 16 and number... I forget the other number. <laughs> Dwinnells, Patrick Dinwell, Dwin... Dwinnells, Dwinnells. Yes, oh, and he said number one, too. Oh, Tim Connors? Yep. Harry Tony taking the face off for the Raiders. Oh, and nice one job. by number 16, Dwim Wells. Wow. Speaking of those yeah. two, look at that. They connect for the first Quick one. Quick goal. Number one, Tim Connors on the board. Yep. And Nine seconds in. Number 16 making it happen as well, Patrick Dwinnells. Wow. Wasting no time there. Mm hmm Follow us too on our Instagram, DS Cable TV, for all the highlights. Mo all the highlights mostly of Dovershire. Yeah. We are, after all, Dovershire. Yeah, exactly. Me. <laughs> ah, wins another draw here. Going out to the right. Yeah. And passing off number eight, Chris Moratieri. To Connors, the goal scorer. Mm -hmm. Dwindles comes off. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, he just talks to the coach real quick. And right back on. Yep, Johnny Bennett on him. Bennett's a great defensive mini. Mm -hmm. and, um, he had a nice little goal last game. Yep. Looked more like a hockey shot. Actually. Oh. oh no, he chips up, but sticks yeah. with it. Uh, it's really good persistent right here, number one, but checked out by Willie Bowen. Yep. And Bowen picks it up and gives it back to the goalie, Leek Sveen. Sveen with a great pass. Oh, uh, number 12, Dylan Tall drops it, but has it again. Tall is going up. There you go. Nice scoring opportunity here. For number 11, wide pass story. To knee to Samson, then to Polk. Taking their time here. Gonna set up a play. Yep, number 16, Henry Moore. There's Henry. Oh, loses oh, no. it. Drops it. And picked up by Ashland. That'd be number 25. Yeah, with some steam here. Yeah, that'd be Andrew Clay. Oh no, that's 26. My mistake. Yeah, great play there. Here we go, Diaz. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah, and somehow that's legal. All right, Michael Polk gets absolutely smashed. He got leveled. Timothy Sampson was getting physical yeah. too out there. Didn't like that call. And you know what? That was actually a great breakout pass from uh, Carson mm -hmm. Aola to uh, set that play up. Oh, uh, here we go. Coming down the middle. Connors. Top of the key. Number 16. Dwin Wells. Big shout out to uh, Emily um, on the rosters. Mm hmm. And they fixed the DS roster. Now it's by number. So yeah. Thank goodness for that. DS ball. Sveen going to get it. Give it out. Trying to get it there to Rogers. Yeah, for people that Oh, good know, check there from Rogers. People that don't know, Emily is our athletic director here at Dover Sherber. Rogers trying to box out three people. Yeah, look at that. That was like one against three for a second there. 
Mm -hmm. oh, oh, nice piece of hitting. Yeah. That Good check there from Henry Moore. Yeah. Alex Dinsdale taking the fall there. This game is already off mm -hmm. to a very physical start. Should be an exciting one. Yep. Now the refs uh, yeah. running towards each other. Let's see what they say. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Connor Murphy taking the field yep. now. DS ball. A long pole. Oh, but he's off. Mm -hmm. There goes Henry Moore. Neat with it from Pastore. And then to Sam Thompson, senior. Thompson to Sawyer Garzone to Pastore. Pastore. Ooh. Passing it off. Here comes Garzone. Yeah, Ashland playing good defense right now, just kind of in the way. Garzone, Thompson, Diaz just trying to pass the ball around, trying to find a flank in the D. Checked and picked up by the goalie, number four, Aiden, Aiden Fish. Fish. Fish back with it. Let's see all Fish taking it up. Oh. A little bounce pass. Yep. To number six, Jake Cavani. The field is slightly slippery looking today. First Johnny Bennett slipping and now uh, William Bowen. Thompson. Here's Pastore behind the net to Neat. Good pass in here from the Raiders. His Polk going to screen. Rips one. Oh, oh, just wide. Good shot. DS yeah. was closest. Great opportunity there from Polk. Sampson. Moore begins his attack. Draws back out, passes it off to Pastore, who gives it to Neat. Nice Neat. pass. Rip shot from Ooh. Samson Diaz will be closest to that. Yep, another shot slightly mm -hmm. wide. 707 left here in the first. Diaz taking a huge loss the other day as Perry went down mm -hmm. for the season. Yep, torn ACL, same injury he had last year. We wish him luck. Mm -hmm. Pass story. This looks good for Diaz here. Let's. Polk. They can get something by Fish. Neat. Pass story. Just great positioning here from the Clockers' long sticks. Mm -hmm. nice Polk check. loose ball. Samson rips one. And that's hey. in. Good Off shot there from fish. Samson. Yeah, it looked like Fish had a piece of it, but it slipped by him anyway. Samson ties this game up at one. Mm -hmm. That was a big goal right there. They needed that. Still early, though, however, with 6.25 left to go in the first quarter. Shout out, too, to our camera woman, Elsa Suksol. <laughs> Tony versus Dwindles on the face off. And Dwindles is 3 and 0. Yeah, he's been a a dot destroyer, as you would say. I mean as I would say. I don't think I've ever heard you say. <laughs> no. Right. 
Ashland trying to put some pressure on, being kept kind of a little far out mm -hmm. in the offensive zone. In professional lacrosse, uh, you can shoot like a three-pointer, I think. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I haven't been in so long that I'm pretty sure it's three points, but I know that you can shoot one across a line for more points, though. Nice check there from Ohola. Yeah, very physical. Yep. Yeah, another notable injury is Griffin Ross Bottom. Ross Bottom, yep. And, you know, Murph. Mm -hmm. Henry Murph. comes Diaz. That looks like Ronan Richards. Sole freshman on the team. Yeah, you know, he's pretty big for a freshman, too. Gotta love that size. Oh, scoops up the rebound there and passes the fish. That was 34. Liam Fitzsimmons with the play. Look, Fish is very involved. Yeah. And, uh, it's pretty funny. About four minutes left here in the first. Here comes Ashland. The little fake pass didn't trick. Aola. Oh, look at this coming in. Oh. Rips one wide. Good shot, though. Just off the mark. Mm -hmm. Ashland with it. What a catch! Yeah. By number one, Tim Connors. Climbing the ladder for that one. Dwindles. Oh, oh, loose ball. Yeah, great stick check there by either number 21 or 36. And Rogers bringing it out, passing it off to Sampson. Sampson. Good pass. Knee. Gets back out to Sampson. Yeah, he was feeling the pressure in front of the net there. Couldn't get off a clean one. 2.50 to go in this first quarter. 1-1. One, one. All right, Michael Polk. Yep. Gets pushed to the outside. Pass story. Sampson. Polk with it. Rips one. Ooh. Sampson closest there. I'm impressed with both teams' defensemen right now. Yeah. It's probably the lowest scoring first quarter I've seen in quite a while. Just a one to one. Two minutes to go. Oh, look at this positioning. What a outstanding play there from Wyatt Pastor. Yeah, the sophomore. Nice little hesitation there and Yeah, I'm wait, did that not even go in? Yeah, I don't think so. What? Wow, I thought it Great sure save then for Fish. Yeah. Must have just laid there on the line and didn't cross it. We got 
way too excited over a save right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sean Scannell, good defensive play. That's number nine. Rogers using his size to his advantage. Yep, Rogers, tenth grader. Michael, oh, another big save from Fish right there. 35.2 to go in this first quarter. Mm -hmm. Both teams having a little bit of trouble getting uh, the majority of the shots on the net. Mm -hmm. Yep. Rushing down. More. I have four seconds. He's got to rip one. Hi. They've got six tenths left on the clock in the first. Plenty of time. So, no, I'm just kidding. That's like an instant whistle there. And at the end of mm -hmm. one quarter, one to one. This is a real Low scoring game. tight game here. Mm-hmm. I know, as soon as uh, Elsa goes to show the camera, they shut it off real quick, but it's back now. Mm -hmm. Remember, if you didn't hear me the first time, check us out on our Instagram page, DS Cable TV. My brother Cam is uh, doing it right now. So, can expect some pretty good uh, footage. That's if there's more than just one goal. Yeah. You should sure. get some of those decks. Oh, I know. I hope so. Both coaches consulting their men. Well, shout out to the tennis team who's actually playing very well as of late. Mm -hmm. Over a hundred consecutive wins. Amazing. Maybe we'll go announce one of them. Yeah. Oh, scoreboard shut off again. And we're back on. That scoreboard is being quite fidgety. Mm-hmm. Just means the refs are going to have to do it the old school way, just in case. Probably like, you know, the time's going to be a little wishy-washy here. Mm -hmm. Not perfect, but... Yeah. Alright, 
let's see. Diaz can win a draw here. Patrick Duenos, number 16, have been pretty good. Look at that. He wins another one back. Mm -hmm. Wow, nice yeah. check there from the Raiders. A sea of Raiders. Picked up by number 12, Natal. Nice move there. Yeah. Cutting up the field a bit. All right. Number 26, Sawyer Garzon. Sam Thompson back to Garzon. Oh, Ooh, almost. Trying to get it there to pass Sawyer. Yeah, good thought. <laughs> Outstanding pass. Mm -hmm. Number 34. One of the demon, Liam Fitzsimmons. Yep, McLaughlin's yelling at the team a bit. Mm -hmm. Barking some orders. Oh, nice. great defense there. Willie, Willie Bowen, the captain. Only active captain. Outstanding player. He's quick, too. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they can do here. Oh, good pass there from Sampson. Oh, another miss. And that's it of the baseball field. Yeah. Grounded by the shortstop. <laughs> I think that would be the right field. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You are right about that. All right, Pastori back here. What you can do. Mm -hmm. Well, Dylan Drozik, number 23, just, just <laughs> good on that corner there. This guy, number 14, too. Adrian Bremenkamp. Good ball movement here by DS. Thompson behind the net. Sampson. Whoa. Oh, falls down. <laughs> Loses the ball. It's like the chop made him wipe out. That's what it looked like. Yeah. And finally picked up by number 26, Sawyer Garzone. Off to tie. Cadence tie to Sam Thompson. Tam, little spin move. Oh. oh, I thought he was gonna go for it for a second. Oh, oh another miss shot there, but good thought. Mm -hmm. Sampson closest to that, so DS will get the ball again. This is a oh. great opportunity. Oh. oh, he whiffed on it. Yeah. But Didn't put enough on it. Yeah, outstanding pass there from Timothy Sampson. That's what you got to do to set up your teammate. Mm. Oh. That one's in the beach. Sveen. There's some pressure on him there from number nine, Chase Garcia. Yep, yeah, Rogers right, to Bowen. I want to see Bowen go in and just sh shoot it. Yeah. I feel like, oh, outstanding goal. Mm -hmm. Pastor takes the lead with that one, two to one. I was going to say, with this uh, Ashland team, you're going to have to try to shoot it outside because mm -hmm. they're not really letting you go in on them. And Pastore does just that. The way this game is going, that could have been a pretty big goal. They don't seem too easy to come by right now. And wow, 
one again. Yeah, he's uh, fantastic. Joinals. Yeah, good swim move there. Oh. oh, okay. Who is this guy? Gone between Bennett and Tony. It's funny sometimes when people are like that good at cradling and holding on to the ball, you'll see like coaches be like, "Look at his stick. I want mm -hmm. you to check it." Ah, oh, wide. Yep. Derek Schiff. Just wide. Ashland is the closest to that. 7.30 to go in this first half here. 2-1. to one. Raiders lead. What a pass. Oh, oh. my goodness. Great pass. Yeah. Number 16, Duenos finds nine. Chase Garcia for a nice goal. Wait, what? Did that not count? Mm, I don't think so. No, so. Not sure why. Probably some technical reason we yeah, don't I've know been, about. Uh, slightly confused about that. Because that's the second goal I thought I saw that didn't count. Mm. You saw what I saw, right? <laughs> yeah. I think my eyes are deceiving me, <laughs> Sebastian. <laughs> Go to the eye doctor. Yeah, no. They'd be like, you didn't just see that. It's, it's a figment of your imagination. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Henry Moore. Was for the pass? Oh, oh. Samson almost. Just another shot that goes wide. You know, it's kind of like basketball. You know, when your uh, when your percentages are just off for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So. Oh. Oh, good defense there. Lockers, number six. Cavani. All right, Raiders still having pressure, putting the pressure on. Let's see. Samson. Nope. Another miss. That yeah. might have hit off the stick of number six, though. Mm -hmm. Jake Cavani. Try to go bottom right. Yeah. Still got it. That was number nine, Sean Scannell. Showing some skills. Pastore, ooh, ooh, off the iron. Gets it back to Scannell. It's getting closer. At least that one hit the iron. Mm -hmm. oh. You know, Pastore is a shooter. He's got a pretty hard shot out there. Oh, oh, my God, what holding. a save from Fish. Yeah. I think Neat thought he was going to get a goal there as well as yeah. everyone else. But Fish, just good patience. Sticking with it. Stepped out of bounds, DS ball. stick in there. Disrupting them a bit, but Raiders still have possession. Henry Moore. Mm -hmm. Weathers that storm marching down. Nice pass, Pastore. Oh, oh, that looks like it went off his heel. I know, right? Or the bounced off the goal line. 
whoever it was who was close but didn't go in. So yeah, those lacrosse nets, like the way they're string, they can uh they the ball has a lot of movement sometimes, so number thirty three, Brendan O'Neill to Sveen. O'Neill with it back again. Then to Moore. Like it's funny, I remember when I was playing lacrosse I could just like shoot good with my stick and then all of a sudden I use someone else's stick and it just like goes right in the dirt and you're like, Wow, this is so much different. So it's kind of funny how they're calibrated like that. All right, here we go. Yeah, the D-man just a little behind him on that pass. Good opportunity here. Good pass to Garzon. And just look at that. Clockers just totally filling in those lanes. Mm -hmm. And we got a timeout. Yep, timeout. Clockers head coach Bill Graham. And uh, their assistant coach Dylan Rovers. Makai Lambert. Yeah, those are the three uh, coaches there. <laughs> One thing about these rosters is that we don't have the DS coaches, but we we know Brian McLaughlin. I just don't have their assistant coach on this. Do you know who it is? I think it might be Angelina Macchiano. Okay. Good to know. He sounds Italian. Name like that. Alright, so... Clockers coach using their timeout here. Raiders taking the field, and now the Clockers. Nice defense, Johnny yeah. Bennett. Let's see, I want to see him go in and score here. Good gonna job. give it to Thompson, and it's gonna sub out. 2.30 left here in the first half. Ooh. What a shot, Pastore. First one. Kid's a sniper. Dylan Natale. Gonna be taking the draw here against. Yep. Yep. I was hoping it was someone else, but Patrick it's Winnells. Winnells. <laughs> oh. I was like, oh, he's taking it against Alex. No, Alex Dinsdale, number five. Nope. nope. Dwindle back in. Dwindles. And with that, I mean, the scoreboard's a little confusing for me since some of those goals might have been a figment of my imagination. But it says three to one, Raiders win winning. Yep. 
And uh, Juanos wins another one. This is Dinsdale with it. Number five passes it off mm -hmm. to Grimes, number seven. Infraction on Ashland Diaz with the ball. Yeah, I think it might have been an offsides. Sixteen. Oh, good deflection there. Yeah, it hits the goalpost. Yeah, I think that was uh, Dylan Rogers getting a stick in there to break up that shot. Nice play there from Rogers. Yeah, probably saved a goal. Right, Raiders working it around here. Pass and let's see if Henry Moore brings it in here and gets a shot on. Samson, just excellent defense oh. there. Absolutely excellent from Jack Cavani. But this is what I'm saying is how these, de like all, all of their long stick defenders right now um, are just making it tough for Raiders to get in there. So. Less than a minute left here. Nice pass by Fish. Oh, I thought there was going to be a huge mm -hmm. check there for a second, but... Oh, Pastore loses his helmet. Yeah. <laughs> Was this Henry Moore with it here? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 19, 18 seconds on the clock. Good pick the there. Oh. oh, missed the net. Good thought. 11.7 left here in the first half. Let's see if they can get a shot off here. Yep. Eight seconds. Polk. Polk. Gonna rip one. Oh. Missing the net. Samson. Samson pass it back. Oh. oh another missed net. This yeah. This is crazy. Good shot there. Yep. But Raiders have the lead here at the end of one half. Three to one. Um, what do you think so far? Uh, it's definitely been a fair fought competition. Yeah, very low scoring. Clockers are still very much so in this game. Uh, Fish has been playing excellent and keeping them in the game for certain. Mm -hmm. Well, we will join you for second half action shortly. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to today's Tri-Valley League matchup between your Dover Sherbin Raiders and the Ashland Clockers. Current score is 3-1 to one in favor of the Raiders. 12 minutes on the clock as we begin the third period, or third quarter. Yeah. Natal against 
One now. I don't think he's lost one face off. Oh, I spoke too soon. Kicks the ball. Oh. Oh, that thing. He almost jumped on fish. That would have been a funny little goal right there. Yep. You never know what happens when you put the ball on the net. Here comes number eight, Chris Mortieri. Oh, good defense from Johnny Bennett. Yeah. Try to get him to drop that ball. This guy right here, number one. Got to watch out for him. One in 16, I think, on the clock, Chris. Mm -hmm. There's one. Yeah. Oh, what an outstanding save yeah. by Sveen. As we remember, Ashland's only goal came nine seconds into the game. All right. Crazy. And they haven't scored since. They get one taken back. Yeah. Well, that was just a figment. Another big save there from Sveen. Long pass there to Natal. Just steamrolls oh, a guy. Goodness. Yeah. That's a penalty on the tall. Absolutely steamrolled that. Yeah, that's still, I don't care if that's illegal or not, that's still sick. <laughs> it's like in football when you completely truck a dude. Yeah, exactly. Here comes Ashland, number eight. Off to Grimes. Grimes to Connors at the top. Oh, shot. shot on another big Good save. Good save there from Sveen. Yeah, he's made a bunch of saves so far. Yep, denying quarter. dwindles. Look at this, this is a great opportunity here. Oh, oh. it seemed like it might have got stuck in his net a little bit. Natal picks that up. Bennett with it. A little underhand pass to Moore. Mm -hmm. Moore, let's go. Oh, oh big good save. Good save there. Fish. Oh, here comes Moore with a great back check here. Let's yeah, here comes number 16. Dwindles wow. with wheels. Wow, Sveen again. Sveen coming up with two big saves on Dwindles. Jeez. Love to see it. Nice Good pass, pass there. Yeah, here we go. Poke passes it up. Oh. oh. Good save from Fish, I think. Either mm. that or it missed the net. Mm. Good shot, nevertheless. Yes. Let's see. Diaz can get those momentum back after those saves. On the net. Good setup here. Oh, I thought he was thinking about passing him oh. more. Oh, Pastor comes ah. in. Snipes. Nice goal there. Yeah, absolute rocket. Lower right hand. Lower right side, I mean. And it's another goal. Yes. Padding this lead a bit. Mm -hmm. Four eight, to one. Eight eleven. Left on the clock. Yeah, you mentioned too that uh, the girls' games can just go by way faster. Yeah, they play twenty-five minute running clock halves. And yeah, the whistle, they stop the clock every time the whistle blows. It's so weird how the same sport is just so different between 
Yeah. The gender. And you see, like, the field sizes, too. The girls is, like, the red lines. So And strange. the boys is the blue. Like, who's... Whose idea was that? <laughs> Alright, passes to Sven. Great Richards. pass, yeah. Let's see what Richards can do with this thing. Mm, good pass. Sampson. Story. Oh, almost. He's in the crease. Yep. You know, right now, I think uh, Wyatt. It's kind of the go-to guy mm -hmm. right now with all these injuries. That Bowen checks a kid. Oh, that's going to get a flag. I feel like... One minute for slashing. Bowen will be in the box. Bowen, no stranger to the penalty square. <laughs> Aggressive player. All right. Clarkers have a chance here to... Uh, Subtract this lead a little bit. Oh, that the was block. Bennett with the block there. Excellent. Oh. And Rogers with it. There you go. Three Rogers. people. Good pass there from Rogers. Wow, excellent play. Oh, uh, a whole. Uh, oh, oh, past story while he was falling, tried to get a shot through, but it got blocked. How many more going into the box? I thought they said blue. No. Oh, blue. I don't even see a blue 16. No, there is. On the, they're in the box. Oh, he's already in there. Mm -hmm. And that would be Patrick Dwinnels, yeah. Face-off man himself. Yep. He's having an excellent game today, so. That definitely hurts a little bit. Tough, tough time to take a penalty there. Especially when you're defending. Mm-hmm. See if we can get another goal here. Make it tougher for the clockers. Oh. Polk had something there, but. Mm -hmm. Waited. Gets it out. All even now. Bowen's uh, out of the box. Yeah, not all even, but yeah, you know what I mean. DS is DS is uh, full squad now. Full strength. Yeah, full. Thank you. Oh, the oh. shot wide. Almost thinking there were more missed nets than hit this game. Are pretty even. Let's see, this is Scannell passing it up to Moore. Pastor. Polk. Oh. Oh. What, another high one. North of the net. Yeah, good pressure there from Dylan Drozik, number 23. Yep, 5.30 left here. In the third. 5.30. Yankees won. Uh, blech, gross. No, I'm just kidding. Well, how are the Red Sox doing? Uh, gross, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Oh, another missed a shot.
Here comes Scannell. Taking a shot. Oh, Gets that. There it is. I'm surprised Fish didn't get that one. He saw it the whole way. Amazing. Great goal from Scannell there. Five to one. Thinking that one probably is going to go in the highlight reel. Laser there from Scannell. Yep. Game slipping further away from the clockers, but since it's such a low scoring game, they could totally get four goals. Pastor going to the get some ice or something. Oh, another, yeah, another one. Look scandal. at that. Scandal heating up now. They're now they're really running away with this one. Yep. I think they rattled Fish a little bit. Now he's kind of in his own head. And now they're just pouring on the goals. Timeout. Yeah, what timeout? Blue or white? I don't know. Blue. You know what I haven't seen in a while, Sebastian, is the, the DS lacrosse flag. Mm. True. Right? Any word on that? I don't think so. Four thirty seven to go in this third quarter. See if Scannell can complete the hat trick. He's had two goals this uh, this quarter. Yeah. All right, let's see. They can beat this guy for the draw on one. Nope. Wow. That's oh. oh hey. I think that would, I don't know if that'd be considered. A yeah, like what's what's loss. what's considered a face-off win in hockey if your team gets possession? Yeah, exactly. Is that like the only thing if your team gets possession? Yep. That's why Patrice Bergeron's one of the best in the business. Oh, look at this! One of the long sticks. They're down, great pass, oh. and what a rip. That was a good shot. Five hole pass, Veen. That was number one, Tim Connors. Second goal. Yeah. See, it's such a low scoring game that Ashlyn can turn it around right here. Carry Tony back in there for a face off. Let's see. I try to beat this number 16. Dwindles. Just very strong. Wow. Oh, no, he didn't get it. 
Oh, no, they got it. Ronan Richards with it now. To Bennett. And just thrown away there. something else, huh? Yeah. If you pick the ball up on the field, it's live. That ref is pretty intimidating. Mm -hmm. Don't mess with him. All right, Clockers looking for their comeback here. They don't have much clock to go. It's bad. What do you want, a medal? <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> I'm, I'm due for a couple uh, a game, you know. That was pretty bad, not going to lie. <laughs> uh, tell me how you really feel about it. All right, here they go. This is their goal, one of their top goal scorers here. If not, it is. Oh, great pass. Oh. Hits the post. That was Derek Sh uh, Sheth. The rocket hits the post. Up assistant coach. Yelling, telling his team to hustle. Oh, that one kid. Hustle. A uh, little turnaround. Mm. Well defended by Bennett here. Oh, Loses nice it. defense. Good D there from Bennett. Here he goes. You got to think he's going to march up the field. You know, I'd like Bennett to take more shots. But. You know what? You know, I might have to have a talk with him after mm. the game. Face to face, eh? Yeah, or on a, or just on social media. Mm. Be like, you got potential, kid. You just gotta. Sometimes you gotta switch hands on the run and just fire it in there. All right, Henry Moore. Oh, nice pass, though. Here we go. Just good defense. They just close right in on him. Michael Poe oh. misses the net. I kind of think uh, driving McLaughlin a little bit crazy, all these missed, missed shots. Luckily, they have the lead, so it's not as bad, but. You know, here's Poke. What a save. charge here, but oh, he drops the ball. We have 30 seconds left here in the third. Liam Fitzsimmons. Here we go. Henry Moore with it. He's another player that I'd mm -hmm. like to see him shoot more too. <laughs> and that shot was wild. Might have hit off a helmet. Might have hit a person. Yeah, I know. They're just trying to say that that was a wild shot. <laughs> Oh, it did chip off a helmet, I think, so. Uh-oh, Henry Moore looks a little shaken up. Let's hope that he's okay. Maybe he's just gassed. Yeah, final seconds, third quarter. Red fives, oh! They oh. tried to go 16-1 uh, to 1 again. And that's number 16. Uh, 304. Number one. Wow, he just, he 
heaves it. No, I don't know what happened. I got tricked on that one. Yep, but after three, Raiders six, Clockers two. So, Raiders got to just keep playing their game right now, and they should coast to a victory. Yep. Twelve minutes mm -hmm. left in the game. Just continue to play the way they've been playing on defense. It's been great. Basically shutting down the Clockers stars. Mm-hmm. I mean, only having one of their person scored two goals. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, and it's the same person, too. That tells a tale. All right. on three, one, two, three, and they are right on the field here. So, on the way to this game, I saw the baseball boys getting ready to play, and yep. talked to Ben Schroeder. He said, when are you guys going to do a baseball game? Oh, we should. Yes, we We do. need to do yes, a baseball game. Agreed, we will. Hey, look, Raiders won one. Hey. And here we go. Good pass in here. Yeah, Samson. Well defended. Knock the ball loose. Oh. But he gets it back. Oh, no. It's no. still a fight for possession here. What was that? A hold. <sighs> All right. Let's see. Oh, he just absorbs that check. and But he overpasses. That was... Kane Amaro, C A U A N, K A N. I don't know. Mm. Probably butchered his name. Sorry about that. There we go, Sveen. Oh, I was hoping he was gonna bring it in for a shot. Yeah, now, Clockers. Some speed here. Look at this. Taking it. Taking it. Big number 23. Dylan Drozik. Mm. And nope. Nothing coming of it. No. Oh. Out of bounds. Clockers need goals and they need them quick if they want any chance of getting back into this one. Yep. You got 10.30 to go, so. Definitely manageable. Yeah. Clockers have enough clock. All right. There he is. Their boy. Yeah, check there. Yeah, great defense there from number 33. Um, Brendan O'Neill to push him to the outside. That's 16, the wow. Number 16 gets on the board. 
Mm -hmm. That's Patrick Dwindles. Closing in on the lead. Ever so slightly. Yep. 10.01 on the clock. Score being six Raiders to the Clockers three. Let's see, Clockers having dwindle. Dwindles taking the draw again. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate we don't have Ross Bottom taking our draws. Oh, look at that. Mm. Raiders come up with, oh no, can he, yeah, he corrals it. Yeah. Good win there. Dylan Natal. Showing he's no slouch in the face-offs. All right, if the Raiders can get a goal here, this would be huge. Or if they could just burn a decent amount of clock. Mm -hmm. Just take their time a bit, but... Ooh, oh, good save. Yeah, makes a good save from Fish. Although I think that might have been going over the net. Oh, overpassed. Oh, Garzone can't take it in, but Polk's oh, there. Polk's quick. Oh. Overpasses yeah, there to Polk's immediate. eats the check, too. Fish has been making some good down the field passes this game. Makes a nice little breakout pass there. Uh, Great defense from Sampson and now Polk yeah. picks it up, passes back to him. Sampson, Sampson. coming in. Great nice pass. pass. Oh, oh man, and Fish lays. Uh, who is that? Scannel? Yeah, lays Scannel out. The there. goalie throwing some hits. Right. Oh, but there's a flag. Goalie penalty, maybe? Well, you know what's funny, too? That would have been Scannell's hat trick there, but like I said about mm -hmm. the uh, the spin on the lacrosse balls. Yeah. Last me who was top spin or back spin, but keeps it. I think it's back spin. N number four going to the box. So, they're going to need a new goalie. Oh, my goodness. Is that a charge? Which is weird because, like, you would think it was a clean check. But, I don't know, maybe he, I don't get it. This scandal literally just had the ball while he got checked. Ah. Uh. Huh. So, I guess Drozik might be taking the penalty for him. Mm-hmm. Not, not great here for the clockers to take a penalty at this point while well, down by three but they seem to be in good spirits one man one minute so Seven. I think Diaz gets an extra man too yep 739 they'll be even or if uh, Raiders can score here They're working it, killing clock. Garzon having trouble with it, but picks it up. Mm -hmm. All right. Polk. Oh, hesitates on the shot. She got closed in on quick. Here we go. Sawyer. This is up, Polk. Polk's Ooh. definitely one of the go-to guys, too. Uh, and that shot misses the net. Just... So many missed net shots here today. It's kind of unlike this team. Another one. I just don't understand. All right, but nonetheless, Raiders getting some good opportunities here. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Can the clockers get this out? Mm. Good check there. Yeah, it was. 
remain in position here. They're going to try to get it to one of their stars here. Oh, here we go, number 20. Oh, great pickoff from a Carson Ayola. Just a quick... Oh, nice. Sawyer! That should put this game away, really. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't already away. 7.08. Raiders 7. Clockers 3. Got any plans after the game here today? Uh, no, I'll probably go home. <laughs> Have food, watch the Celtics. Yeah. Game five tonight in Boston. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. The series tied 2-2. Mm -hmm. I feel like whoever wins this game wins the series. Yeah, I mean, you never know. It's still best of seven, but... Get the gut feeling. Yeah. Oh, big draw there. He goes, they, they need a goal ASAP, and let's see if he brings this in and shoots it. Good defense. Oh, oh flag. Yep. So that's good for the clockers here. Let's see, but they need to pour it on and fast. Right. He might have picked up the f Oh, no, he didn't. People were standing over the flag. Let's <laughs> see it. Oh, Let's see. Let's push back. See, tough angle there. Well, that's going to be out of bounds. Penalty will be assessed. 6.22 left here on the fourth. Well, that's when it's so it's so huge to be able to just switch that hand after you go around the defender. Switch the hand to lefty and just fire, a, fire one in. Bowen going back in the box. It's one thing that I really love about lacrosse is how you can just go ambidextrous, you know, just switch it up lefty righty mm -hmm. at any point. As you know, in hockey, you can't do that because of the curve of the stick. Yeah. Has there anyone ever had like a straight stick? You know, it's funny. I think that that was a thing back in the day, but like nowadays, I don't think so. What even is the curve supposed to do to the stick? Uh, it's just like, it's e oh. it makes it easier to lift the puck. So there's all different types of curves as well, so mm -hmm. you get your own like specific um, preference. No. Is that why hockey sticks are so expensive? Um, that's probably one of the reasons. It's technology. It's, I don't know. Why even are they so expensive? Everything's so expensive now, right? Inflation. I think if you want new skates, it could be like 2000 bucks for like top of the line or more. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Absolutely insane. Yeah, well, the thing about sticks is that they can break so easily. Yeah, so it's funny that you say that. One time I was in a tournament in Lake Placid. Where's that? Was just, it was in New York. Mm. And I was just feeling saucy, right? So I bought like a $300 stick. And I just put it on my credit card. <laughs> and uh, I ended up breaking it like like a week later. And I was just so bummed. Can you get like stick insurance or something like that? So it's, yeah, I mean, like if you get them, I would have had to like drive to Lake Placid to go possibly get one but it's weird because they say that your stick insurance is only good it's like a it's only good for like 30 days or something mm. but it's like when you play once a week I don't know it just goes by pretty quick yeah no I feel like you should have insurance for the rest of the, your time using the I stick. know I wish you would I wish you would but stick companies wouldn't make much money doing that I think yeah but then they would charge more yeah for the insurance I feel like could. people would pay more yeah, it's like a craftsman tool, you know, it's like guaranteed for life. They should they should do that. 
But then again, after a while, corporate cheaps out a bit, and, and the product's not as good as it once was. So they like expect you to just like give up on it rather mm -hmm. than keep getting oh. new ones. All right, Raiders just playing a good game here today. Yeah, four minutes left here. All right, Fish trying to with a, trying to get a breakout pass, but it goes to the other team. Yeah, that's oh. oh being generous with it. Yeah, know, Nate like, trying to do the extra pass. Yeah. But sometimes you got to take it yourself. Yep, I think he should have put that on, but at this point in the game, I think they have it about wrapped up, so wasn't a bad move to pass. Trying to get his boy the uh, the hat trick. Oh. Yeah, good defense there, laying the body on him. Yeah. Number four, Crossman Crothers. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Little Standish Crothers, former goalie for the Raiders. Yep, also a hockey player. Really? What do you play in hockey? I think he's a... Goalie? Uh, I forget, actually. I, don't... I think he's a forward. Hey, look at that. Good goal Sampson. there. Tim Sampson. Eight to three now. Three minutes to go. There will definitely be some highlights on DS Cable TV mm -hmm. Instagram page. Got to be a little frustrating here for Ashland because they were very much so in the game and then just third quarter, fourth quarter, they're just getting dominated. Yeah, ran out of gas. Yeah. Another one. Let's see if uh, Raiders are going to keep pouring it on here. I have a feeling no. they will. Poke, rip. No, not a fish has anything to do with it. They won't. 2.30 left. He's played a great game. Mm -hmm. He's kept oh. him in the game for quite a long time. But so hasn't Sven. He made some excellent saves today. Here we go. Let's see here. I want to see Scanner with the hat trick. Oh, just well defended. Mm -hmm. Number 23. I feel like it's so much easier to get a hat trick in lacrosse than oh, other it sports. Is. It's like, that's why, I mean, like, goals aren't as exciting in lacrosse. Mm -hmm. A lot easier to come by. It's like you got players on the team that... Some like in high school, sometimes you expect them to at least get like a hat trick a game. Mm -hmm. Like if they don't, they didn't have a great game. Yeah, it depends with like all the assists too. Yeah. Under a minute thirty. But like arena lacrosse, it's like a hockey goal, but like a. Wow, oh. great check there. Yeah, that's throwing the flag. Yeah, I guess it wasn't a great check because he got a penalty. But that was number six, Jake Cavani, really mm -hmm. laying into him on that one. Throwing the shoulder down. Yeah, so I've actually never seen an um, arena lacrosse game, but I heard they were, heard they were cool to watch. Mm. One of my friends uh, went a few times. He got free tickets and... Uh, Pretty sure it was at Mohegan or something. Where's that? I think Connecticut, I think. Mm. It's all about a lot of like these Pretty really sure. weird. It might have been in Providence. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote mm. me on that. But 
He said that they like get in fights and stuff too, kind of like hockey. They'll drop oh. the gloves and the refs let them go a bit. Yeah. It's so much like different in like hockey because you're in baseball. If you like throw a punch, you're out for like <laughs> 20 games. I know. Uh, That's what happened when like Rugnet Odor literally. That's Have you? Did you see the oh, fight between? Nice chat. Any more? Oh, which which fight? Rugnet Odor, Jose Bautista. No, you gotta show me that. Oh, anyway. it was a. Br <laughs> so it was, it was back with this whole controversy about. So Jose Bautista. Hit like a monster home run. Yeah, like. And he, against the uh, Rangers in the playoffs, and he did this awesome bat flip. Mm hmm. And but, they took exception to it, huh? Yeah, so then Bautista slid hard into second. <laughs> and then, Ru so it tripped up Rugnetador's feet. Uh -huh. And then he was just like, You want to go? And he was like, Sure. Drops his gloves. <laughs> there was this one picture. He just hits him with a nasty right hook. Oh, you gotta show me that. Oh, right across the face. Mm. That's awesome. But slow mo was so good. Uh, definitely show me that after this. I'll do it on your phone because my phone's almost dead. All right. Yeah, last baseball fight I remember seeing is Pedro take down that old man on the Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> That was the funniest thing I think I've ever seen in baseball. And then Veritek, like, gloving oh, Alex Rodriguez. Yeah. They st they're still not friends. Really? They still hate each other? Yeah. That's so funny. Well, I heard Rodriguez was kind of a hard guy to like. Mm -hmm. Very pompous. 13 seconds to go in this one, Raiders. Yep. Definitely confirmed the win on this one. The score looks like it's going to stay the same as well. Mm -hmm. Eight to three. That's the game. Yep. Confirmed victory. Raiders over the clockers. It was a good one here. It was mm -hmm. close for a little bit. But then, the Raiders. York Dover Sherman Raiders mm -hmm. pulled away. Anyways, you want to sign out? Sure. It was a great game by the Raiders. Pulled away in the second half. And at the end of four quarters, the score Dover Sherburn eight and Ashland three. Anyways, thank you very much. This was Brad Crano alongside Sebastian Asar. And Alexis Suxo on camera. Alexis, Elsa. What did I say Elsa? I say Alexis? Oh my God. Yeah. Cut the tape. No, I'm just kidding. Elsa. Yeah, it's Elsa. You know it is. Um, anyways, enjoy.